What is Barrett's esophagus? Barrett's esophagus occurs when the epithelium of the esophagus is damaged and heals abnormally. The stratified squamous which once was in the esophagus has now become damaged and resembles intestinal cell lining. Usually this damage is caused by stomach acid escaping from the esophageal sphincter and into the esophagus. Tissues affected from Barrett's esophagus. The tissue affected from Barrett's is a stratified squamous in the esophagus. The tissue is affected by the hydrochloric acid which escapes from the stomach into the esophagus. Although the risk is small, people diagnosed with Barrett's are more susceptible to develop esophageal cancer. Symptoms of Barrett's include frequent heartburn and regurgitation, difficulty swallowing, less common but chest pain. Although it would appear there should be more people who exhibit symptoms with Barrett's esophagus, only about half of people with this condition have symptoms. Possible causes of Barrett's. The exact cause of Barrett's esophagus still is not known. While most people who do develop Barrett's report having gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, which is summed up to be chronic heartburn. Whether this acid reflux is caused or accompanied by GERD or not, Stomach acid and chemicals wash back into the esophagus, damaging esophagus tissue and triggering changes to the lining of the swallowing tube, causing Barrett's esophagus. Treatment for Barrett's Treatment for Barrett's depends on the level of damage done to the cells in your esophagus. No dysplasia means periodic endoscopy monitoring and treatment for GERD. Low-grade dysplasia, endoscopy resection, radiofrequency ablation, and cryotherapy. This is considered the early stage of precancerous changes. High grade dysplasia. This stage is the precursor to esophageal cancer. Treatment does not change, but surgery may be done to remove the damaged portion of the esophagus and reattach to the remainder of the stomach. Although with surgery, reoccurrence is possible.